How'd you discover it was the city coroner? She's paid for contorting so awkwardly. No More than we cards, pay our no staff, that's... Uh, shan't be entering. <laughs> Indeed. Sure. Yes? How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The batch will start soon, but the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! <laughs> Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but that is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tibble. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. It's a material world. And Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. <sighs> mm, I'd say so. Play in tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, mutant. <laughs> oh. 
I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in Nova Grand. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By close, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and... Achoo! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Arr! Quats. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time, that's what matters. So, how did you fare in the first round? Not bad. Guessing you won too. I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk. Had an altogether decent hand, but... Might have had a hard time concentrating. Hmm. Care to finish this conversation in private? I have a proposition for you. Meet on the terrace upstairs. All right. <sighs> You're a vulgar one. Just a bit more and I'll drop this job. Damn it, I don't know. Hmm, alone at last. What did you want to talk about? A cartload of coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know, without bothering the others. Huh. As propositions go, this is not exactly what I was expecting. You don't seem like a... Thief? True, it's not my day job. Which is why I could use some help. Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. 
And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need, or so I heard. Who do you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable, so long as the cause is just. Fine. Let's say I help you. I'll split the coin with you, of course. Split? What if I win the tournament? I shall have another proposition for you then. What's the plan? I shall tell you all when the time is right. For now, just stay alert. And if you are eliminated, stay till the tournament's end. It'll be worth your while, you'll see. All sounds pretty mysterious, but fine. Excellent. Now that's settled, let's rejoin the others. Round two. Your attention, please. Madam Sasha and Gilbert of Revia. Phineas and Harold Featherbuns. <laughs> we wish you a pleasant match. May fortune smile on you always. Dip your dingle. I get no pleasure whatsoever from easy victories, so I should be very angry if you let me win. Don't plan to. Curious about that other proposition, though. Okay. Hmm. Well, I hope your luck holds. Ladies and gentlemen, the third round. The heat is on. The nearest round's winner will face Count Tybalt himself in the final. <coughs> Phineas and Gerard of Rivia. I'll not play a mutant. Are we to understand you forfeit this round? Fine. In that case... No. I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. A good match to you both. Please remember the tournament rules. No magic, no quarrels. Play. The mutant cheated. I'll gouge those devilish eyes out with my bare hands.
Well played. Congratulations on both your victories. I wanted to summon the guards initially, but... Uh... Yeah, it's better I took care of it. Please, join me for the final. I must admit I did not expect this outcome. There's a rather large sum on another player, in fact. Might have guessed there were multiple games going on. As long as they pay and don't hit. Geralt, positively divine performance. You make a splendid mama. Let's begin. Superb match. A great pleasure. The prize will be yours. Thief! The coin's gone. The guard's been stabbed. What? How is this possible? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Phew! We must scour the building. Anyone leaving must pass inspection. Before you ask, it wasn't me. Figured as much. An unexpected turn of events, but our agreement stands. We must try to recover the coin together. Agreed. Where do we start? We must get upstairs. Wait. I say, this Witcher is Captain Hansen's good friend. He could examine the crime scene. Charge only a trifling. A fee? But... We will, of course, collect it from the Captain personally. How is his injury from the other week? Has it healed yet? Well... I'd heard it, Ed. Splendid. We shall go upstairs at once. Next time we see the captain, my lady, I'd um, appreciate your mention. That is all, good fellow. You may go. The Witcher requires absolute silence while he works. Mm, of course. That went well. Really know the captain? Yes, a horrid man. Come now, get to work. Blows delivered from a strange angle. Expert, though. Precise. Somebody dragged something heavy towards the terrace. to lower the sack of coin. He'd need an accomplice waiting down below to grab it. Hmm. Something down there, but I can't make it out. Must have been one of the players. Lowered the coin down on the line, then strolled past the guards. Hmm. This was well prepared. Think you can track the culprit down? Don't know yet. I'll look in the street, see if I can find anything there. Come on. Like a 
You're a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. Same as the one tied to the bolt. Gonna have to look around. Where's that scent coming from? Cinnamon. Strange. I don't smell a thing. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. Haste makes waste. Culprit lost this crate. Must have fallen off the wagon. Can you be certain this was the thief's? Crossbow under the packages. <laughs> Itching to crack a pun about every rosemary having its... I appreciate you resisting the impulse. Hmm, I've seen this guild mark. It's a trading company's. One that imports spices from Zeracania. They have a storehouse at the docks. Northernmost one on this side of the port. Shall I meet you there? Sounds good. Keep his hands off himself. Faster. <laughs> Looking to enlist with a temple guard. six inside. I wasn't able to get the door open. Gotta find another way in then. Here's the wagon. Smell the cinnamon now. Which one's Hortensia? The tall one. Masquerade's done, Tully. Give us the coin. Masquerade? <laughs> well put. Been watching you from the start, sweetheart. Though I ought to admit, I thought you'd follow me alone. Told him who you are yet? No? I'm sure he'd love to hear it. Go on, tell him. Or I'll tell Hortensia to break your fingers.
What's this about? It's about Madame Sasha swallowing my mushroom farming nonsense hook, line and sinker when she should have been more vigilant. So, will you tell him who you spy for? Or would you rather scream it out? Let go of her. Step away. One of you restrain him. Then make sure he gets a good view. I did not, in fact, suspect him, whereas he clearly caught on to me long ago. Halflings can be unpredictable. At any rate, we've succeeded. Now to divide the coin. Oh yeah. So what's this proposition that's supposed to convince me to share my winnings? No longer on the table. We retrieve the coin together. We shall divide it equally. Know what? Let's have dinner at the Kingfisher. My treat to celebrate my last day in Novigrad. Heading back to Nilfgaard? That why you needed the coin? I see you miss very little. Still got a touch of an accent. Ah well. It seems I shall need a new trait anyway. I'm compromised in Novigrad, so... <sighs> Who were you before you became a spy? I don't rightly remember anymore. But I suppose you can call me Cantarella. That your real name? Well, almost. I'd love to. As it turned out, the blue-eyed prostitute was actually his sister. He couldn't believe it. Oh, my. He asked me to see her again at the House of the Night, and then... Fascinating story. Shall we go upstairs? You can show me exactly how it ended. Great idea. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Lay me down with a barrel of beer and a cup in my right hand, and over me coffin sing this cheer. He died a trap for the gentleman. Late for supper again. 